Okay. Um, first, um, we've been looking at wanting to get one of the printers like we have here in the IT room for the fire station. Um, I know Daryl comes over here a lot and uses ours to scan stuff to his email and um, sure. they have a couple printers down there so it would kind of eliminate having multiple and paying for all the ink and stuff so I will pass these. Um, the company we use for ours is through Gordon Flesh. Um, sure. So that's who it would be. The front page is just like details about it and then the back has um, the price and that's just a one-time fee and then we just pay the monthly fee like we do for ours which is just based on basically how much you use it service um, yeah which um I cleaning made, and that kind of thing. yeah so like for ours last year it's usually 40 to 70 a month based on how much we use it um so it's not anything crazy, but ours we've had since 2015, so it's almost 10 years old. And if we ever have any issues, we get a hold of them. They're here the next day. They fix it. We don't have to pay for ink. Any of that isn't all that is included. Um. So we wanted to see what you guys thought about that. Where's the money coming from? It would be for fire and EMS. We got money for it. Yeah, I mean, I'll split it in half, so it won't be won't be as bad. Gotcha. I think it'll be worth it in the long run. They won't have to keep buying printers and ink, and they can. He won't have to come over here if he wants to scan stuff to his email. And I don't have any problem with it as long as we got money for it. Okay. I'm good with it. Anybody else? I'm good. Okay. Is there use will be more or less than yours? I I feel like theirs will be way less. I I think if it's more, I'm I would. Curious. I think if it's more, I would be concerned that other people are using it. There is. there is, but I think all of us here you would use it a lot more than they would. Yeah. But I know he likes to send e invoices and stuff to his email to have copies and all that stuff. So I think it would be nice. Um, okay. Next, I have. Um, George has recommended that we get um, some new computers. He said the water office is needing three new ones and the fire station is needing two. They're all pretty outdated. Um, he said he started installing the computers that we have here in the water office in 2019. So it's been close to five years. Um, it would be bought through Dell, which would be through government purchasing. Um, we used to pay SSI like a service agreement six thousand a year, and that was for them to do like maintenance and stuff. Um, George said that him and Tom decided to stop doing that just because it was so expensive, and they were kind of just doing temporary fixes and not really wanting to replace anything. So they stopped doing that and would just buy new computers as they needed them. So he was just recommending that we get a few. So here's yeah, how many? Um, five. There'll be three for the water office and then um, two for the fire station. I know Daryl did desk, say that they needed some. The desk one for laptop. Um, it would be the desk ones. So that has the price highlighted and that's for all five of them. So about $1,200 a piece. Um, that's for the monitor and everything. I usually... If George says we need it, I feel like, okay, you know, he's probably pretty. <laughs> he's the one that usually takes care of the ones over here a lot, so. And what will that money come out of? Um, the three would be water and sewer, because um, it would be in the water office, and then the two would be the fire and EMS. But it's not crazy, so I don't have an issue with that. It would be about 1200 a piece. Oh, you got to upgrade the computers. Yeah, right. As soon as you get them, they're already starting to go outdated. I know the ones. You buy one brand new, and within yeah. three weeks, there's some other new yeah. nuance and it, it, right. it, it comes out. It's stupid. Yeah. And it's George is really good about coming in and doing the updates and kind of keeping up with them. So. It's been that way for about the last 15 years or so. Real bad. I mean, where they Yeah. 
Well, for as much as the water office life. uses them too, I think five years has lasted them longer. I think than schools went pretty much to laptops and iPads. And iPads, yeah. Away from yeah. Desktops. We all have laptops. Hmm? Laptops and <clears throat> iPads. Of course, you're talking different. Yeah. Uh, would there be a break if we got any more than just uh, five? I don't know. I can. Reason I, can I ask, uh, Rodney, how's the the police computers? I think Brian is wanting to get a new one. I know George looks at all of them too. He's okay. he's usually the one updating everything. Because they got a computer fund too. Right. Sure. Yeah. Come out of. Yeah, I got can, plenty of money in it. I can ask George and see what he thinks about it. I'll ask um, Brian. What's like a computer fund going? Right? You might get a break if you buy six. It might be a price break at six. A little over six thousand. Yeah. Six money for yeah. Yeah, I mean I can find out. These are just what George came to us with, so I just assumed he knew yeah. which ones. He's always in doing updates and stuff on them anyway. But don't hurt to ask. Yeah. And if we get uh, get them a little bit cheaper if we get six and rather than five. That I don't know if that will happen, but right. I don't know, probably sometimes not. It's six, sometimes it's ten, sometimes <laughs> it's twenty. Yeah. Don't that's hurt to ask. That's right. not really bad price. No. No. Uh -uh. <clears throat> it's stay bid, so no, I won't get a price break. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. You guys wanted to talk about the police levy again, so I have that on. I do have copies of them again if anybody needs new ones, but. Yeah, let me have a copy. Yeah, give to me. I'd like to have one. Yep. I got so one. I don't have to take it out somewhere. I made them just in case. Oh. Fred? I, I got one in here. You guys want one? To look at it. All right. Uh, just one or two? Yeah. All right. One extra. Oh, I might have given you an extra. <clears throat> Lacey just had me put that on there. You guys said you wanted to discuss it again, so. Yeah. Mayor Bowler's been sending me a, a good bit of stuff from like City of Newark. I don't know who else if you sent anyone else. It's talking basically about City of Newark and uh, they're 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 uh, they're paying for they're paying for the cops they're paying for young guys, nineteen, twenty years old to go through the training. Yeah. They're paying them what? Twenty twenty bucks an hour or something like that? Yeah. To go through the training. Twenty six. Twenty six just to go to the academy. And then uh, thirty dollars to hire, and thirty nine if you top out. Yeah, thirty two, thirty two start, thirty nine top. Yeah, and that's Lincoln oh. County. Yeah. Lincoln right. County, City of Newark. Yeah, oh, City of Newark. City, City of Newark's yeah. advertising. Right. That this is crazy. I'll show you. It's crazy how much. I mean, we don't can't. Compete. I mean, we can't compete. With can't that. compete no. with that. But that's just it's just showing you thirty miles yeah. north and west of here. You know, yeah. it's knocking on our doorstep. It's getting closer. It's going to get closer. It's going to continue to get closer as as uh, I, as things. You, you uh, also develop. got you also got to take into consideration that their tax base and what they have as far as revenue. Well, is. it's coming this way. You know, we need your tax base to support it. Yeah. I'm not against it. It's just it's, is that still the same way as the fire? See Yeah. That our, our publics can't compete with the privates when it comes to EMS. I mean, we're paying 12, 13, 14 bucks an hour, and they go down the street and work for privates and make it $19, $20 an hour. I mean, it's, it's reality. I mean, it's reality everywhere. <clears throat> I, I saw an article or something talking about between public and private. Uh, a lot of guys want to work. 
public, but one of their drawbacks is to pay. Because in their privates, it may be $6 or more, $10 more on the hour. Do you want to say damn thing? So, I'm for levy to figure out which, what, what you want to do is. You did the millage, didn't you, Chris? Yeah. Now, I had the uh, prior Perry County Auditor when we uh, were discussing amounts and what, what uh, would generate how much and so we could pay salaries and so forth. And... Uh, the auditor came up with between seven and a half and seven, seven and three quarters mills to get you um, to generate. Here, I got it. Hold up. And you got that even broke down as what it would cost mm -hmm. for, yeah, for, for a thousand for a $50,000 home. Hundred thousand dollar home. Yep. We're, we're needed. We, we, number one, I think we would we would go and have a police levy. Number one, uh, it would uh, take a little bit of pressure off your general fund, which is, we've always paid police out of general fund. Then when the general fund gets weak, and Roddy, you you lived through those days, and it was horrible. We we had a chance to have officers, but we couldn't afford to pay them. So the first people cut was normally police, and that was. To me, it just comes down to what you think the voters will vote for. I, I just I don't know. On that. What do we think the voters will vote for? Right. I know mayor's, mayor's more like, hey, if we're going to do it, let's jump in with both feet. <coughs> That's kind of his approach on that. And I, but we've, we've argued about that. I don't know if it, some of the others have talked about it, but we, we've kind of hashed it out. I, I'm for anything that council wants to try, to be honest with you. So in a range like that, maybe 20, 23, 24? Yeah. Was it, Preston, you, you, like I said, you did the millage on the top amount. Yeah, I'm trying to go back here and get it for you. <coughs> Three quarters mills would generate two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars a year in revenue, and that equates out a hundred and thirty six dollars more a year for a fifty thousand dollar appraised value home. 
$272 a year on a $100,000 appraised home and $544 a year for a $200,000 appraised home. And that's approximate because values were just adjusted this past tax season, the ones that we just had to pay last Friday. If anybody noticed, their taxes went up a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. And that's, that came, you know, unofficially that came from the uh, previous county <coughs> auditor. Now millions generates how much? Two, approximately $225,000 in revenue. It's seven and three quarters. So apply that to your what court they're handed out. And that would just be solely for salaries towards officers. It wouldn't be, you know, maintenance on a cruiser or right. anything like that. It would be solely for payroll, you know, benefits, BWC, P, F, and F. Insurance. Yeah, insurance, sure. Would you want it to restrict it to that, though? I mean, if, if you didn't have the officers and then you still had the revenue coming in, I, 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 I want it written to where we could still use it to upgrade computers, equipment. Well, I think you have four officers. I, I, I think I think you have a better. I think you have a better shot at passing a levy if it's solely for salaries and wages and benefits for an officer, because that's what you're that's what you're crying about now. We don't have any revenue. We don't have any money to, right. to hire to hire a decent wage and pay a guy. You know, so I, I don't want to backtrack a little bit and say, well, you know, the cruiser crashes, or well, we can use that money. For <coughs> You know, use it for what we intend it for. We've done a pretty good job over the last two years using our COVID monies and our dollars well to buy new equipment and get new vehicles on the road. And, and um, you know, I think we're pretty pretty good and pretty set for, uh, you know, knock on wood, something major could happen. But, you know, we got two new cruisers down there sitting there. We don't... <laughs> Don't don't you know? Hopefully, Chris will start using one here in another couple three weeks on a, on a on a pretty regular basis for thirty six hours on a weekend. I mean, to me, it's a bad time to put it on because it'll go on in November, and that's going to be awful. And pe with people just getting their taxes, I, we need it, and I'm all for it. But it's just the timing is completely off to put something on. But you know, how long do we have to suffer without policemen? If we put it on in November and it fails, mm -hmm. can we put it back on in March at probably, a different... Probably could. At a different percentage? Millage, you mean? Yeah. You just have to probably. rewrite it. Just have I don't know what it costs, but... Yeah, it does. It'd be some money. Yeah. I, I when guess people I, bitch about not having police, you think they would? Yeah. Well, they, yeah, they complain about it, and, and it's a general complaint. And then when you spell it out, you know, you got to do a real good job of selling it. You know, your fifty thousand or your hundred thousand dollar house, you're going to see a couple hundred dollar increase. Are you willing to pay for it? Yeah. But Nobody thinks about it until they need it. Well, yeah, God, they can here. That's, yeah. that's 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 my fear. Is is yeah, when they, they read it, they say, okay, yeah. I got my house is. $50,000 house can cost me another $136 that I don't have. Well, and I think that's the point Fred was making. Yeah. But 
And also the point is if you, if you have a hundred thousand dollar home or two hundred thousand dollar home, you want people to back a call to help protect it. Yeah, Absolutely. exactly. Right. Well, the people that have ten thousand dollar homes want somebody back and call to protect it. But yeah. as far as that goes, it's eleven dollars and thirty three cents a month. As my insurance uh, coach. 16 years ago said it's the price of a number one every day you know for lunch at McDonald's yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know not no more not no more <laughs> right yeah not no more ten dollars a day now <laughs> yeah yeah eleven thirty three a month more uh you know when you're talking yeah, do you want to wait till Monday before the cops get it? Because there's been several times when, even when Rodney and I were running Saturday nights uh, every week, you know, um, on Sundays, Saturdays, the sheriff's office would say, hey, here's two holdover calls from the previous, during the day. Mm -hmm. They didn't go see it. They didn't go get it. Nobody was bleeding, so you know, we'll get it. We'll wait until somebody's on. And then when you go to their house, they're like, Ah oh, man, we didn't, they a either wouldn't answer the door or b too late. Too late. Yeah, or they didn't because nobody came when they called. Yeah, that was the doubt. Yeah, yeah. Where were you at eight hours ago when I called you? <laughs> he was up in Thornville. <laughs> yeah. You know. I, I I think we need to put something on there. <clears throat> I like we do, but. That only affects the people in town, too, doesn't it? Sure. Yep. Inside the corporation. Inside the corp. Yep. Yeah, we only go outside the corp when the, when the, when the, when the boss man, you know, asks us to go out and <laughs> right. help out. Try it. Got to try. No choice. We we'll do a lot of. Uh, just the timing is right, but. <laughs> just do a lot can't. of public, uh, you know, a lot of positive PR for it, and sell it, and advertise it, and we'll put it on our Facebook and our web pages, or you know. And the other option is if you disband, then you have to contract with the sheriff's office because they won't just come here just because. Right. That would be even worse. I yeah, and, 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 and yeah. then they will show up as much as they do now. Yeah. I knew, I knew when Mom had day that. Late, day late and a dollar short. Mom had that wreck out of town. The sheriff passed us twice and didn't stop. Waiting on the state highway. We had to wait on the state highway patrol. How is that? Even? From, from Lancaster. Yep. <laughs> I thought you had to, like a nurse. Well, no, like, a pure, nurse passes pure, a record. Well, life saving. You, you get help. past, you're obligated to first stop. Off, first off, the Supreme Court has said that police have absolutely no obligation to protect anybody. And you can look at it up and find it yourself. I don't know where that ever come from, but yes, they, they, they don't. Uh, the other side of the coin is a sheriff's office, their only duties is to serve papers and maintain a jail. You can also read that in the higher revised code. They have no obligation to answer one call. We don't even have a Yeah, but that, how long ago was that? That was probably when you think it's still, it's still in there today. Nelsonville. Nelsonville. No, and, the, and, right the county, right. and the county pays for it. They pay for so many beds there. It's a joint venture. Out of the 36 chairs, I think we get seven. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. That we're, that we're allotted. Yeah. You know. And, and that we never get. Right. You end up calling people like So, what the highway patrol do? I mean, Monroe if they County. had to wait on them in town, Monroe County. highway he, patrol should be out on the highway. He had to go, he had to go and take take uh, take one clear over to Woodsfield over in yeah. Monroe County because that was the only place we had bed yeah. one night. Yep. Yeah. And uh, what you said, stay highway patrol. Two hours. Only half no hour good on way state to get property. Unless Round trip, just, just one way. Or one more way. Yeah. Other area law enforcement. Hmm. That's why they want to be a state police, and that's why the Ohio State Buckeye Sheriff's Association bites them so hard on it, is because then that will relegate the sheriff's department to doing nothing but serving papers 
and and maintain it in jail, which is what you know usually happens in most places where there's a state police. Hmm. I just figured if you run across something, you be your duty to stop or whatever. You think? It all depends on whether you go by the book or whether you just decide what you're going to do on your own. Sounds like what Crooksville needs to get into is we need to wreck the jail. <laughs> <laughs> we stab the jail. Yeah. <laughs> Charge people to come and use our facility. And no municipal yeah. building had it. We got a jail three down cell. there. Oh, we have uh, That's three yeah. cells on it, don't it? I'm, oh, talking about, I'm talking about jail for the county. Make the rest of it. That would go well. Yeah. Yeah. We'll start. We'll start. We'll start advertising that. That's what's going to go on the old uh, East School property building. Oh yeah, the East School. Yeah, yeah. we'll just start advertising that. Good prison up there. County we'll call it the Northern Perry County, Northeastern Perry County Jail. It's going to have to be a tall one then, because I don't think there's enough area there to handle spread out wide it's like. <laughs> no, all seriousness. You know, we we need the we need a payroll where we can. You know, just in it's today's reality. Inflation's eating everything up. I know prices of everything's gone up. Groceries gone up. But you know, the 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 office here and as a municipality, it's it, it you know it the, the costs on it have. Uh, have just went right along with everybody else's household. You know, our our costs are up too, and what it costs to operate is uh, going right along with it. And uh, to uh, to answer the calls and to be a viable resource for the community, it's we got to look at doing something. The old days of letting it come out of the general fund and and so forth isn't. There isn't enough general fund to go around. Wish it was, but it's not. That's good for it. us enough money to get three officers full time at twenty almost twenty four dollars an hour. My main my main argument's just been trying to cover shifts. Just trying to have a shift coverage for for all the potentials, for all the possibilities, you know, and not have to rely on well, nobody's on, and and everybody around knows. You know, all you have to do is just take a drive down around the rec center, count. Up, oh, nobody's here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's gonna start. You know, I mean, we won't we won't see the effects of it until this time next year, if if it would pass in November. But I'd really like to. Yeah, I'm hoping that that. Uh, and with the warmer weather and, and uh, the weekends and so forth and, and our new hire starting uh, for the weekend evenings, nights and so forth that it, you know really calms down the traffic. Traffic. Yeah. It would be nice to have two full timers Monday through two more full timers Monday through Friday and one weekender that would work three twelves. Yeah. Right. Sure. Sure. Day shift. 
Yeah. Buy three extra bullets. <laughs> yeah. I'll go buy the bullets for them. <laughs> it's only three. That's <laughs> They don't need you to buy them a call for change of time. Okay. Cool. What else we got? Just executive session. Okay. All right. We got an executive session for the higher boss code 121.22 G1 for snap. Executive session. Uh, anything else come for council see? I do have one thing. Uh, the uh, I received another uh, note today from about safe streets and roads for all. That would the grant that would be eligible. We would be eligible for that to either do something up Main Street or Industrial Drive. What's that again? Say it again. Safe streets and roads for all. It's the name of the grant. And we'd be eligible. Uh, we could go through Buckeye Hills and let them, you know, take care. But here's the kick. April 4th is the deadline. All right. Now, I sent this to everybody. No, I don't know if you all got it, but I sent it to you two or three weeks ago when I first got it. And we're always running late on these grants because, you know, for one reason or another. Time is most of it. Is we always run out of time. I don't know how we get a jump on it. This grant we missed last year because we run out of time. Is that the grant that was $20,000? No. That's a different one. I believe that's a different one. Okay. I I just left another meeting and come right to this one, so I don't have the paperwork, but I emailed everybody again, you know, before I come to this meeting so we could have it again to make sure if you didn't get it the first time, you got a second chance. But I would call Buckeye Hills and talk to um, Zoller. Is it Melissa Zoller? I think it is. Unless you want to go through Mortsy, Mortsy will do the same thing with the same grant. They'll, they have a person managing it up there too. Uh, Preston Frick, if you call him through Mortsy, they have a person that does that that particular grant for for other agencies that's a member of their organization. You say you just emailed that to everybody? Tonight I emailed again the second time. Still going to have nothing. So, I don't, I don't know. So, but it's called Safe Streets and Roads for All. It's a Department of Transportation grant. And, you know, we could do the uh, Industrial Drive project. But, you know, we want to use the grant for planning because we have enough. We have to plan it to see how much it's going to cost us. We have no cost estimates or anything, but so to plan for it, or plan for a project up up Main Street, like the barber shop said they'd like to have a new sidewalk from AEP property line all the way up to the new bridge on their side of the street. I said, well, I bring that up, and um, and that's really bad on that side, just that section. If we can do that, even. I mean, that's not very much, but, and, uh, it's, you can get an estimate. You can so, probably get estimates on it, see what it costs. But the, you know, the, the government and you know, these grants, you have to have some type of plan and, and a cost estimate. So I'm, I'm not, let, I, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, Fred, I, 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 like, I like grants and I think they're awesome and stuff, but I'm not for investing a bunch of money into planning and then run ourselves poor and then when something comes up we don't have any money but we got all kinds of plans well here's the thing bill we running yourself poor i can understand that 100 percent. but we don't run anything 
we're not doing anything. We are doing things. We do things as we need to get them done. And I'm, you know, I, see, I, I get so sick of you saying that we don't do anything. And it, you go tell people that. I, Stuff, and I do pathetic. tell people that, that's and I believe that's, that's true in my that's mind. Pathetic. If you don't, that's fine. Yeah, well, you're not the mayor either. Some of these meetings, I know some of this stuff, and you, you, you probably ought to back off just a little bit. But you, you go ahead, and that way you can tell the people and get their hopes up, and then crash them down like you've done about four times now, and then try to blame it on us, and that, which is okay, ridiculous. What? Oh, I don't every, 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 every time something doesn't pass, it's, oh, we didn't do this, or we didn't do that. I'm not chasing a rabbit down a hole and spending money and investing money, the taxpayers' money, in something that's not going to happen, that's not going to come to fruition. I'm just not going to do it. It's not going to happen, Bill, if you don't have a plan. It's not going to happen also if you get the information a week before the grants do. You just can't do it that quick. It don't work that quick. Well, I, I know that, but I, I get them to you guys as fast as I can. I don't know why you don't get them yourself. You can go on Buckeye Hills and sign up for Buckeye Hills newsletter and get, you know, their weekly blast every week, and they list everything, state and federal and local monies and foundation grants that's out there. It's free information. You just have to go look at it. Get on their mailing list, and they'll mail it to you. How much of a match does this one have? Pardon me? How much of a match does I can't answer that. 20%. I don't remember. 20%. I just downloaded it and read it there and looked at it. 20%, 20 match. Yep. It's 80 that's, that's if your grant, if you if you get the grant. But if you don't apply, you'll never get it. 80-20. It's just like I said on a webinar this week, last this last week, a talk about heritage homes. Heritage homes are homes that was built before 1970. There's grant money out there for homeowners to fix up your their heritage homes and your vacant homes, and they can. Uh, as long as you live in them, you get a, a, a grant. Like the empty homes we have here at our Heritage Homes, someone can buy them and they can get a grant up to 50% of the cost or there's a price on it. I can't remember at all. And I said, wow, that maybe that makes help getting some people moving in town instead of moving out of town. We're losing our population and we're not keep getting anybody to move back in which in the long run is hurting our police department, hurting our fire and EMS, hurting our, one of these days we're going to get caught up. Luckily, you know, we've managed money well enough that we can give a dollar raise. One of these days we won't be able to because we don't have the tax base that's going to pay the tax. Well, I, the I mean, we, got, we have to change the way we're doing business. I was the abnormality, but young people are always in a hurry to get out of town. And, and they don't worry about coming back until they get old. So, the, a lot of the young people don't want to have this be their, their base for their entire life. Which is unfortunate. I was going to get out of town too, Harry. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. I, you know, if you can take it or leave it, I'm throwing it out there. I'm doing my part, I feel, for the people to elect me in this in this position as council member. And I'm proud of my community, and I boast of this community. But also, on the other hand, I'm not going to lie to you, you know, I don't talk all favorable about the community, because what is there favorable to talk about that we've done? We only we wait till something breaks, Bill, and then we fix it. I don't like that mentality. Well, when you're strapped to a certain tax base, sometimes that is your mentality. If you fix what you gotta fix first, that's a, that's gotta be priority. You you, you can't you, you know you can't dream about every pie in the sky thing. Fred, I'm with you. I, I, I want I want I want sidewalks all over this town. I've told you that a million times. That's a dream of mine. I, I have a million things I'd like to do and want to do. Well, let's do it a hundred foot at a time then, but have a plan to do it. 
Well, we'd have to break it down in increments of plans to where we could afford to do the planning for that section and still not impact the budget to the point where it's killing us. Well, that's common sense. I know that. You're right. I mean, I mean, I'm not against. I'm not against progression and improvement. Good, good Lord, I want it just as bad as you do. But we're in a lot better position than some other towns. I, I was in the Corning. I had a meeting and talked to the mayor there at this meeting. Yeah. They don't have a police officer. They're paying $16 an hour as the max they can pay for a police officer. One. God bless them. They're trying. We're lucky in that spot here that we we do have one that, you know, and this levy is needed. Well, this levy will help with uh, alleviating some off the general fund. I hope that would be good. That's a good thing about that as well, which will create more money to possibly do some planning, be able to do some pre-planning on some things that are... It'll allocate your general fund to other things. Right. Well, unfortunately, we just didn't have, we just don't have the freaking tax base, I wish we did. I do, I wish we had it to where we could just, you know, dream it and do it, plan it, dream it, plan it, <laughs> done, you know, and, and not and not run a, a fund or funds you got in a, the dirt. You got a 5.3 billion, or 5.3 million, million dollar budget right. annually. The city of Zanesville's got a 57 million dollar budget. Right, that's, that's the, Columbus, Columbus just passed a 1.2 billion with a B budget. So... Yeah, you're, 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 you know, it's it's, it, it's frustrating. It's I, get, I get it. It's frustrating, but it is what it is. I mean, you you can't change that. Yeah. Well, maybe if, it, if the revenue would come in, magically, but it seems to be it's stuck right around what it is. I mean, it just is. Earlier this year, I sent everybody a grant. Maybe it's the last, end of last year, but it talked about indigenous people, you know, and Indians. Okay, I thought, well, how in the hell are we going to qualify for a grant that does for indigenous people and, and Indians, American Indians? Well, it said also small villages. Ding, ding. So I researched that. I called the ex-mayor Corning. I said, did you ever hear of this grant? He said, yeah, we got it. I said, okay. So I sent it to everybody here. I don't remember the name of it now, but, you know. Probably you guys never got it, but I can't take my own money and spend my own money out of my pocket to go to the library at 10 cents a sheet and print out all these grants. It's easy for me to email. I, I'm telling you, I'm sorry if you don't get them, but I, give, I send them all the time. I sent over 22 this year so far, grants. You don't send them to me. So, no. I send them to Lacey and the mayor mostly and every council member. Nothing against you, Courtney. Okay. Well, I don't sit around on my computer all day. I got other stuff to do. <laughs> sit around on my computer. <clears throat> but we're in better shape than some other towns, so. The only reason we are is because we've been for a practical. Practical. We have to keep some of that until we. That's all. I don't have anything else. Just get that magic billion. Gordon, you have somebody change it off more. Yeah, I have it on my on my note here. I wonder what Nork's best dollar man my budget is. I didn't even think about it earlier. Well, Nork is the sixth largest municipality in the state of Ohio, so it would be uh, in the hundreds of millions of dollars. You said Zanesville's was what? Fifty-seven million. This was a billion Columbus's. One point two billion was Columbus. They just passed it. The city council just ratified it last week. Yeah. Cleveland and Cincinnati perhaps. So oh, they're close. Yeah. You know. No, they they'd be in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Be in the final lot of stuff, wouldn't we? Oh. <laughs> well, that's that's their I mean, I I I 
I didn't get on their website and see how many employees they have, but oh, good lord, yeah. I mean, they think about it. J just in police, they have, <laughs> and they're scrounging for police. You know, they're, they're scrounging for the same things we're scrounging. We, for. They, they, they really are. Sure. That's what I, the, the they, big, the big they've um, they've they've downtrodden their um, requirements. You know, they used to have no no beards, no tattoos, nothing could be showing. They'll they'll take you now. Oh, it's, Norris even s stated that in their uh, yeah. Yeah. recruitment paper was uh, you got beards and tattoos. Yeah, yeah, beards and tattoos, okay. <laughs> Never used to be. Four twelves. Never used to be. I mean, that's, it makes me want to become a cop. Oh, man. It always worked. I mean, he was trying to get me to be a cop. Mass exes. Too much, uh, too much Facebook, too much uh, cameras in your face, too much scrutiny, too much. That's what's... Taking things out of context is a lot of it, and then being scrutinized or over beaten over the head with it, you know. Not to change something, but did they find that Russell guy? I, I haven't heard. Well, of I that. seen the paper taken down at the dollar store. I just thought maybe they found him or something. I ha I have not heard that, and they haven't posted anything that you know any updates that they yeah. had. He's dead. If you think he's dead, he's dead somewhere. No, don't say that. I don't, well, yes, I mean, he's somebody on a heavy hiatus somewhere, you know, like down in Tennessee in the hills. <laughs> Off the grid. Smoking some ganji under a tree somewhere. Yeah, I just bet, yeah. West Virginia. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take him out of the weather, but we're in camp. What did you say, We cleaned Scott? all that up out there. We, we got rid of that, so it's not our problem anymore. <laughs> Not the rest of the reservoir to tent. I mean, you got to the best. I mean, Living in the van down by the river. Living in the van. Little field behind him. Yeah. That was the best move we made over the last several years was getting rid of that headache and that liability. Anything else? Word journey?